Hello to the faculty, parents, family, supporters, and students of the class of 2020. I am honored to represent my school and district by speaking to you all and wish to start with some memories from my time in Durham Public Schools. In first grade, I had my acting debut as the Mighty Lion in Why Mosquitoes Buzz in People's Ears. Although I deserved a Tony for that role, it was sadly also the end of my acting career, probably for the best. In fourth grade, I became an expert speller and made it to the school spelling bee, where I was defeated by the word deodorant. D-E-O-D-O-R-A-N-T. I moved on to eighth grade, where I refined my style and went through what I now realized was a tragic suspender and bow tie phase. And as a senior on March 13th, I went to school, I dressed nice, and I talked to everyone as I joked that this would be our last day of high school. We all have these specific memories that we will never forget because they changed our lives and shaped who we are today. We have our proudest moments where we felt on top of the world, at a point where nothing and no one could bring us down. We also have our moments where we feel like we've hit rock bottom and felt like there was no return from what we were suffering. As time goes on and we move past the hardships and suffering in our lives, we must work to grow to maximize on those proud moments and truly learn how to recover from those low ones. While we work in the present for our future, it is important to utilize our past by taking time to look back and learn from our experiences, our surroundings, and ultimately ourselves. Start by thinking back on what caused you to fall to your lowest points. Maybe it was a bad decision or a mistake gone wrong. Then think back to how you reached your proudest moment. Did you buckle down and work hard or connect with others with more influence? Use this information to find your best work habits and how to use, utilize your resources at hand. What did you do after you tried everything and have not even made a dent in your problem? How did you move past that failure and overcome other obstacles and adversities in your life? This may reveal your best problem solving skills, both individually and among a group with a common goal. Take a look at those closest to you and see who has been supporting you, who has been holding you back, and who has been acting as a bystander to your struggles. With this in mind, work to find your true support network, how to expand upon it, and how to be a contributor to those around you. There is a Zen proverb that states, we cannot see our reflection in running water. It is only in still water that we can see. The running water represents our daily lives where we are worried about grades, our jobs, family responsibilities, and more that keep us in constant motion. For many of us, we are currently in a state of clear water, or at least clearer water where we have been more exposed to the world around us. While we are observing the media and looking for nationwide development, we must also observe and learn to develop ourselves and what we can provide to the world and those around us. I urge you to take this time to look at your reflection. Look at who you were, who you are now, and who you want to see in your reflection. As we move forward into our new lives following high school, remember to take time to still your water. Looking back at your reflection, your new experiences, and your new opportunities to adapt and overcome obstacles you will face to sharpen your 2020 vision. I would like to thank my family, my friends, Durham Public Schools, and CE Jordan High School for helping me become who I am today. Congratulations class of 2020, and stay safe.